Welcome back. Tucked away in a winter wonderland, there was a workshop that's been bustling with activity. No, not talking about Santa <laughs> here. We're talking about Simon Pierce. That's right. The company creates incredible, precious, handmade presents. And our own Savannah Sellers went behind the brand and met the man himself. That is right. Not Santa, but it did sort of feel like that. I went up to the Vermont Mountains to find out about Simon Pierce, a family-owned and operated glassware business. Simon's whole philosophy is designing pieces that brings families together around the table. And as you'll see, for them, family is at the heart of everything. I'm in beautiful Coochie, Vermont. I mean, does it get any more holiday snow globe than this? And I'm checking out the Simon Pierce headquarters, where they've been hand-making one-of-a-kind gifts and glassware for decades. I'm going to get to go behind the scenes to see how it's all done. And I hear it has a very Santa's Workshop vibe, so I can't wait. Let's go. Hi. It's Savannah. I'm Savannah, and you are the Simon Pierce? Oh, I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Creechie, Vermont. Thank you so, so nice much. It's beautiful. You. I cannot wait to look around. Turns out, at Simon Pierce, Christmas is all around. From crystal candy canes to glass evergreens, right down to the perfect seasonal snowfall. It's so festive. Yeah, it's a great time of year. Since 1981, Simon and his wife Pia have built their business out of this old mill turned handmade glass headquarters. I moved from Ireland and I was looking for three things. Somewhere beautiful to live and raise a family, somewhere we could do a good retail business, and somewhere we could make our own electricity and they were all in this building. Everything is handmade, and history is front and center. It's the way they used to make glass 100 years ago. The first glass I made in Ireland 50 years ago, we're still selling today. There are treasures around every turn. This is oh. my son's woodwork, all hand-turned, two miles up the road. Oh my goodness. And despite all the breakables, Simon says all ages are welcome here. It drives me crazy when the parents say, don't touch that, don't touch that. I say they can touch whatever they like. Oh. And if they break it, it's on me. But the truth is, it's the parents who break far <laughs> right. more. Speaking of breaking things, it's time to try my hand at glass blowing. This is the heartland, which is what you're going to be making. Are you sure we should be making one with this much intricacy? Oh, of course. You have no problem. <laughs> Don't worry. First up, meeting master glassblower Corey Duda, who has 20 years' experience. And already, we're off to a shaky start. We're dropping you right into about five years' experience right now. <laughs> Good luck. Just hope I leave with all ten fingers. Not burnt. I'm excited. A little scared. Yes, squeeze right? it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Squeeze it. I'm gonna give this just a touch more heat. That doesn't look like the ones upstairs. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. So you're just reheating it right yeah. now, and then you're gonna open it up. Yep. Well, you're gonna open it up. There you go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm proud. We'll call that one done. I thought that was pretty. Very I was wonderful. going for a more abstract design. Yeah. While my glass takes an eight hour sauna in a thousand degree oven, it's time to head to the quality control unit, Simon's family. Sons Andrew, Adam, David, and Kevin, and daughters in law, Caitlin, Kyla, and Christy. Every part of this is such a family affair. So, this, oh, exactly. That's been a huge part of our lives. For Simon and Pia, at the heart of everything is family. I bring new designs home. Sometimes they were well received, sometimes not so well received. <laughs> I found drawings of glass designs that they did when they were really young. And, wow. and they That's often, would, they often yeah. would accuse Simon of stealing their ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them started a company that really supports this experience around a dinner table. It's pretty special. Well, I like to make a toast <laughs> to family, to holidays, and thank you all for being here on this special day. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. So as you saw, this really is a family affair. Simon and Pia and their oldest two sons actually lived in that loft area where you just saw us having dinner. That's where the kids were born. Um, and when they first bought that mill, you, they, he said before that he wanted to power the whole place um, off of natural resources. So that waterfall powers the whole operation, including the glass blowing. You so made this. I made this. <laughs> I at first I glance you did you really, couldn't tell really the difference well. right? And then when you pointed out some features, it, it sits a little it's askew. <laughs> yes. and you know you have a couple of glasses of this. It looks great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> I thought it could have been sold with the set. Absolutely. I, think, yeah. I actually wouldn't have been able to stop it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy so holidays. And look at the third hour today, Baldy. Yes, wow. and they etched the logo in there. Yeah. It was a Amazing. surprise. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Himself. Thanks, Savannah. Awesome. We'll be back.